Yeah, do a check. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the next session of APEC Dance Forum 2022. Before we begin this session, I would like to highlight that you can win prizes by attending the forum sessions. Here is how it goes. We need you to attend all the forum sessions, engage with the speaker through Q&A and visit the virtual booth to collect the point. The top 10 participants who collect the most points will receive an Amazon gift card worth USD 50 each. Ladies and gentlemen, this session is entitled 
protecting your domain name, recapturing lost revenue and traffic from cyber quarters and quantifiers. In this session, the speaker will share how domain protection can recapture lost revenue and traffic to quantifiers and cyber quarters. Our moderator for today's session will be David Chu from Mining. It is my pleasure to welcome David to the floor. Please, David. Thank you, Ame. Hello, so Susan, how are you? I am good, thanks. Okay, so Susan is no stranger to this, uh, this series. I think she had uh, done one before uh, prior to this. But I'll just give you a bit of background about Susan. Uh, Susan is a co-founder of uh, Rife Asia. Uh, she has more than nine years of experience in the digital brand protection and domain industry. Uh, Susan helps to uh, some of the Fortune 500 top uh, companies in managing their digital brand portfolio. And uh, she's also helped to safeguard their online brand assets. Some of these well-known companies, uh, such as uh, Petronas, uh, FNN, Huawei, Versa Malaysia, MSI, just to name a few uh, that she has actually experienced with. Now, today's topic is quite interesting. And uh, she has uh, done once something similar, but however, this time it's a bit more different. So now, just to give you a bit of heads up for this topic itself, uh, her topic is about protecting your domain name, recapturing lost revenue and uh, traffic from cyber squatter and counterfeiters. Now, this particular topic uh, will be a, quite an eye-opener for some of you uh, listening from uh, online and as well as those that should present here at the moment. Um, so to give us a bit of insight about this particular topic, I would like uh, Susan to you know, uh, give us a presentation on this. Now, uh, over to you, Susan. Okay. Thank you, David. So um, before uh, I start my presentation today, uh, good afternoon, everyone. It's great to be speaking with all of you today. Um, my name is Susan and I'm from Asia. I have uh, nine years of experience in the internet and domain industry. My job is to uh, safeguard my client's uh, digital branch which uh, they are Fortune Global Top 500 brands and currently uh, I'm managing domain portfolio and digital brand for Malaysia top brands like uh, Pretonas, FNN, uh, Busan Malaysia, MSIG, Great Eastern Life and other brands in Asia. As you can see, uh, I love uh, traveling and I'm a food hunter. But now, uh, due to the international travel restriction, uh, we only can just uh, chuti chuti Malaysia uh, while waiting for the border to open. So uh, I hope that uh, we can travel freely soon and visit my client in Singapore, China, UAE, and in Asia. So uh, next, uh, I will give an introduction about Red Dot Asia. Um, Red Dot Asia is a brand under Web Commerce Communication Limited. Red Dot Asia is a digital brand protection and domain management company. We so, so may I stop you here for a while? Uh, do you have uh, any uh, slide you want to show? Uh, yes, I'm sharing. Uh, yes, okay. Could you regret? I think some of the guys here didn't see the slide. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. Uh, you all can see my chat right now. Huh? Yes, absolutely. So, uh, Rental Asia is a digital brand protection domain management company. We have uh, more than uh, 20 years of experience in the internet industry. And our headquarters is in Singapore. And business operation is in Malaysia. So um, our office is actually in a uh, technology part of um, Malaysia, which is located in Bukit Jalil. Uh, it's close to the stadium Bukit Jalil. So if you are nearby or feel free to visit us, you can come to our office and I will make you a coffee and tour around the open concept office. And next, uh, we are the ICANN accredited uh, registrar in Malaysia and also authorized uh, reseller of uh, Minic and accredited registrar of uh, 
uh, Ashinik, Pandi, Sianik, TWNIC, etc. So we are so knowing as a leading registrar for .cc and internalized uh, domain name registrar in the world and rank among top 50 registrar worldwide. So uh, we also uh, accredited for the ISO 9001-2015 certification and we manage over 3 million domain names in now. So um, if you want to check whether your domain name is under our management, you can always check via who is and look at the registrar. If it's displayed as a web commerce communication limited, then uh, we are your domain registrar. So anything you can always come to us. So next, uh, what uh, Red.Asia doing is uh, our top service is uh, domain portfolio management, which uh, including to register and transfer in domain for client. So before uh, we transfer or register domain, we will provide a domain audit report to our client to check whether the domain is available to register or if it's taken by third party, then we will provide the information like who is the current registration, registrar and also the domain expiry date. And there will be a dedicated account manager as the main contact and responsible for all of the domain bureaucracy uh, aspect and to smoothen the domain registration uh, and also to transfer in the domain to our management. So when it comes to a domain renewal period, we will send up the renewal notice and provide the quotation to our customer. So uh, we also have a one stop protection like a domain security, registry log, uh, which is also known as the domain hijacking law and we have the website security product like a digital certificate for the TRS or SSL certificate and the document signing certificates. And last but not least, we also provide an online brand protection which is the online brand monitoring for social media, website and blog. So when client file any online brand abuse or internet impersonation, uh, fact, fraud, or phishing website, we do provide the takedown service. So if you'd like to understand more about our service, you can always uh, come to me or you can visit to our website, www.red.asia. And our clients are top brand in Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, and in the Middle East. So we have in Malaysia, we have the Petronas, uh, which is the Malaysian oil and gas company. Busan, Malaysia, the Stock Exchange of Malaysia, Capital Land, uh, one of the Asia largest diversified real estate group, and also the Great Eastern Life, the largest and oldest life insurance company in uh, Singapore and Malaysia. So um, we also have like the Singapore government sectors, uh, banking group, and etc. So before I start my topic today, uh, I have prepared an opening video so you know uh, what is happening in the internet. So uh, let's watch the video together. The constantly changing cyber landscape poses new challenges and threats. Companies around the world failed to keep up and increasingly slapped with new record-breaking cyber security fines. We need to pay attention or we'll be next on the list.
um, okay, let's start with my topic today. So, okay, well, um, domain that is uh, of not being protected poses significant threats to your cybersecurity. So the risk of not addressing your domain security can be catastrophic. So today my session is about uh, 30 minutes follow with the Q&A. Uh, I hope that you guys can stay with me till the end of my webinar because uh, I have prepared a few quiz and if you can answer correctly, I have some giveaway for the winners. However, if you are not managed to stay, um, I guess you can play, replay in the YouTube afterward. So today my topic is uh, protecting your domain, recapture lost revenue and traffic to cultivators and cyber supporter. I will be covering uh, what is online counterfeiting and domain cyber squatting in the internet, how online counterfeiter and domain squatter can cause the loss of the revenue and traffic, and what are the big players are doing to protect their brand domains, and why business should register more than one domain, and how to protect and recapture the lost revenue and traffic to the counterfeiter and cyber squatter. Today, uh, rats uh, evolve traits uh, multiply. Try to guess uh, how many percent of the brand annual revenue is actually lost to the counterfeiter. Uh, you all can type the what you want in the chat box. Try to guess it. Uh, we have 30%. USD 1 million, 10%. Okay, it's actually 7%, the brand's annual revenue loss to the counterfeiters. So if like, you earn a 10 million per annual, the where 7% is equal to 700,000, will loss to the counterfeiter. So almost 75% uh, of the brands have uh, lost money as a result of uh, counterfeit group being sold online. And according to the 150 business executives uh, who took part in the survey, there are 42% uh, says they have lost up to 10% uh, of their sales, while 20% uh, believe the impact was somewhere between uh, 11 to 50% in lost revenue. So, domain cyber squatting cases has increased 11% uh, globally. So, in 2020, we both handled uh, 4,204 cyber squatting cases, a nearly of a 40% increase over 2019. And the registration of the domain name representing a corporation identity brand on the internet have been a uh, witness as a search and increasingly being uh, used to spread misinformation and engage in uh, illegal and fraudulent activities. Strangely, uh, so the search in the COVID case uh, seemed to have a few uh, train with a spike of witness in the cyber squatting cases. So next. What is uh, online counterfeiting? Counterfeiting is the practice of uh, manufacturing and exchanging products that are branded to appear like the authentic counterpart, but are not genuine. So uh, creating a fake website is easy for counterfeiter to accomplish the fraudulent website of uh, fake mobile apps, or social media sites can be found in every industry from fashion to consumer electronic, even food, pharmaceuticals, and consumer goods can be lulling the customers with the cheap and inferior version of the products. So uh, knowledgeable counterfeiters can steal all of your on-page information and upload it under a fake domain in a matter of minutes. So the mainly method they use to accomplish this are through uh, domain name squatting and misusing your brand name and image. So counter 
uh, counterfeiters uh, can also create an email and communication to look like it's coming from your business and directing people to their fake domain. And next is the domain name squatting. Cyber squatting is the abuses uh, registration of the trademarks or as domain names where an individual or company attempts uh, to use uh, online the reputation of an established brand, like the cyber squatter also using the similar domain names to inflict significant damage which is also known as the typo squatting, which includes uh, making uh, small changes in the original domain name and normally not easy to detect. So with this strategy, scammer can also easily fool a web user into believing they are on your official site. But uh, why would someone squash your domain name and make a fake copy of your website? So they are either one to Prove your website or sell fake product of your brands. In, in other cases, uh, domain squatting is serious and should be addressed immediately. If not, uh, your business uh, will be at risk. You will be a customer may end up uh, on a fake website by typing an incorrect domain name or being directed there for a search. Online counterfeiters and domain cyber squatter can affect business. Your domain name is the center of your web presence. So without a proper domain protection, any successful uh, business can face uh, significant risks like fall in sales from your website as an infringing domain direct business traffic direct away from your official uh, site due to the infringing domain and distorted uh, user perceptions and consumers' health and safety put at risk. So uh, you can see that uh, the cyber scooter can actually affect your profit loss, uh, loss of the search profitability and also uh, damage to your reputation. So next, uh, I have a case study about uh, Nike. Uh, let's take a look at Nike online counterfeiting case uh, where Nike and subsidiary brand Com Converse have uh, filed a lawsuit again uh, close to 600 websites for selling counterfeit sneakers. So uh, Nike and Com Converse uh, call up a total of uh, 589 sites and other online platform, including their social media account for the unauthorized and unlawful use of their trademark. The company state uh, that the website in question are currently were well, within the past uh, 12 months advertising and offering the sale and counterfeit uh, Nike or Converse product to the consumer in the US. So the brands uh, argue that the product being sold on the infringing website are likely causing and have caused uh, consumer to mistakenly believe that uh, they are authentic uh, Nike and Converse product. So elsewhere in the filing, uh, Nike and Converse uh, pinpoint that the site is uh, currently being operated in China. Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, and other foreign jurisdictions. So uh, Nike is now asking that the offending parties are uh, prevented from selling counterfeit product item, and also they are seeking stat uh, statutory damage of a uh, USD one hundred thousand per infringing domain. So a total of uh, one hundred thirty three are listed. So they are. 133 million in total of compensation. Apart from that, uh, Nike also uh, applied for the brand TLD.Nike. So the domain uh, Nike is a close uh, GDLD and not open to registration by the general public. So Nike believes that it proposed the .Nike extension will provide an online single source uh, identifying location for its uh, current and future con uh, customers. 
So uh, the DLDs will also uh, useful to general internet user, investor and the media, and will also serve as a trusted and intuitive namespace. So navigation will be streamlined by using a short and memorable internet address. And also the TLD will be an integral uh, part of the company strategy of using the emerging technology to achieve its aims. So at times of the application, Nike did not consider there had been enough time or available market insight to fully evaluate the potential of the dot Nike string. However, the company intend to analyze the general market adoption of the brand domains to uh, determine the both short and long-term best use option. So uh, Nike is already aware that with the growth of the trajectories of the new channel, so such as the mobile device, as there is an opportunity to create an innovative uh, virtual avenue to online content that might deepen and broaden its relationship with customer. So this would be one of the example of uh, what uh, Nike doing. And also uh, we have done a research on the Nike protection on domain in Malaysia, Singapore and Indonesia. And we found they have protected uh, most of the domain. However, there is one example we can see on the uh, night.co.id. The domain uh, was actually registered by third party and being redirected to an online gaming website. So uh, if you want to look at that, you can actually enter the domain and you can see it's actually directed to the online gaming website. So um, you all might be wanted to know uh, what can the brands do if they, they find out like, these kind of cases. So uh, I would uh, list up some of the ways that to recover a domain name from uh, infringing cyber squatter, um, where you can send a cease and desist letter with uh, the lawyer fees will cost you around uh, 4,500 ringgit. And, but for this one, there is no guarantee that you can recover. You can go to uh, file and I can abbreviation action to obtain the infringing domain names. Uh, it will cost around uh, 1,500 USD for the filing. Or you can file a lawsuit in federal courts uh, alleging Lotion of the anti cyber squatting consumer protection act or other laws, uh, uh, that one it will cost more on that. Uh. So, uh, there would be another solution also where uh, you can do is uh, you can take out of the lawsuit where you can do a domain acquisition, but that one it might cost you. Uh, lower or higher, it depends on the seller itself. That would be also one of the option. Um, so regular monitor and enforcement of any infringement uh, defensive measures such as the blocking service and issuing a uh, cease and desist letter notice proactively are some of the other safeguards that could be adopted by the companies. Uh. So um, I believe that uh, some of you here has already uh, protected some of the brand's domain. Uh. So um, if you already protected, uh, make sure that you make use of your domain and recapture your web traffic. Probably uh, just don't forget to use it because it's actually the value is there. And 40% to 60% of the corporate domain portfolio are not pointing to live content today. So uh, just make sure that you fully utilize and uh, don't pay it and not knowing the domain uh, portfolio value. Web forwarding to uh, recapture traffic and loss revenue. Web forwarding capability is a quick and easiest way to ensure the valuable web traffic is not lost. So uh, you can forward to an under construction or otherwise a generic web page 
for the misspelling and defensive uh, registration pointed to uh, provide content so that the visitor can find the content for which they are looking and the CCTLD should uh, point to the localized uh, native content. So traffic data uh, enabling you to understand the value of a defensive holding. So you have to keep track on your DNS queries and also the web for, uh, forwarding statistic where they can help to discover and track the IP address of the DNS request and log every website view by a device connected to your network. Um, this will help you, uh, your team to find out uh, which website the visitor are visiting and how long it takes to complete the DNS request. So there are over uh, 1,534 TLDs in the world, including the GDLD, CCTLD, new GDLDs. So why secure more than one domain for your business? When it comes to purchasing a domain, there are lots of uh, common questions, including uh, whether your business needs more than one. In most cases, uh, purchasing an additional domain is a smart uh, business decision for uh, your branding, marketing, SEO, and also for legal reasons. However, before shopping for your domain, there are several uh, factors should be considered you will want to think about uh, how your business could benefit from uh, having more than one domain, the types to consider uh, purchasing, and also the strategic uh, way to leverage uh, multiple uh, domain and the potential pitfall you might face uh, from owning them. So uh, why business uh, buy more than one domain? If you think uh, having one domain name is sufficient, uh, you probably have to think again uh, because uh, by not owning a uh, multiple domain, you could cause your business traffic and customer and leaving your brand uh, vulnerable to the competition. So business often uh, buy more than one domain to defend against the user error and protect their trademark and consider buying common alternative uh, spelling and also to track the success of the marketing and advertising campaign. So by protecting, uh, detecting and removing uh, infringing domain, you can drive a positive result to your business. So the benefit is first, uh, you can recover your brand domain where you uh, can uh, reclaim your loss of stolen domain names. Second, uh, where you can uh, safeguard the consumer and stop the scammer from uh, deceiving customers. And last but not least, uh, you can stronger your company reputation and restore the customer trust and brand integrity. So, uh, that's all for my presentation today. Um, as I uh, had a quiz for the participant today, so please enter your answer and your email address in the chat. Uh, the two winners uh, will be notified via email after this uh, webinar. But for the gift, uh, I will just uh, give it as a surprise. Um, so the first quiz. Please uh, name one of the service uh, providing by Red Dot Asia. Anyone can answer it? Okay, Aaron here, domain management, correct. Making domain portfolio management, yeah, you're yeah, right. But you only can give a one winner for one quiz. Eh? So be fast for the second quiz. So the first uh, winner is uh, Aaron. But Aaron, can you please type in your email address so that I can contact you? Uh, we have uh, Rahu, uh, Domain Portfolio. Yeah, you are right. 
Mura Digital Brand Protection. Yeah, yeah, right. So let's go to the second quiz. Why business need to register more than one domain? Anyone can answer? Anyone can answer the second quiz? We have one more saw here. It's for brand protection purpose. Yeah, you are right. Anthony brand protection, yes. Protect trademark, yes, you are right. So uh, the two winners, uh, the, the first winner, Aaron, can you please type in your email address? Okay, for branding and marketing purpose. Okay, so um, that's all for my presentation today. So it's the uh, two question. Yeah, Susan, it's actually quite, uh, this, time, this time you give more information about what's happening with the brand protection and how this uh, counterfeits uh, thing can take away uh, reputation as well as the uh, so-called revenue from the organization. In fact, this is quite enlightening indeed. Now, we do have uh, two questions on the floor. Uh, and let me read out the first one for you, and then you let me know, uh, and then we can answer them live, okay? So the first one, uh, by this person, uh, by an audience here, uh, particularly called Tree Passage, very similar name to mine, surname, <laughs> okay. Now, which market segment has the highest impact? So if you are saying that... Uh for counterfeit, online counterfeiting, um, from my perspective, I think uh, pharmaceutical industry will have the highest impact uh, because it will affect the health and safety issue of the uh, consumer. So um, probably the healthcare industry uh, would have to protecting more of their domain names uh, because it will affect the consumer health. I think this is probably uh, in in uh, what in the the so called the COVID nineteen sort of cases perhaps that one can yeah. drive the traffic that way right now yeah. we do have another question uh, from the participant uh, that posed on the chat uh, this is actually posed by Faris Ahmad uh, and the question here is related to a uh, lawsuit thing so let me read out for you okay file mm -hmm. a lawsuit at federal court which country's federal court are you referring from uh, referring to Susan? Uh, for this one, I think I'm not the best one to uh, advise because uh, you will have to seek for your lawyers or a uh, professional to uh, advise you from that. Because if your business is in Malaysia, then uh, maybe you will have to file it in K uh, KLSE or somewhere. Uh, but, mm -hmm. mm, Okay, right. Okay. Now, um, we, well, I think that's actually quite good. And, and we also have some, if anybody wants to have any question to open up, uh, uh, have any question to ask Susan, I think it'd be great. Uh, we have another one uh, from your YL. Uh, so her question is, um, is the cost of the cease and desist letter was 4,005 convert from US dollars? I think it's more on the cost wise. Oh. Uh, for this one, uh, actually different lawyer, they charge uh, differently. La. So it's depend uh, from uh, your lawyer. If they charge, maybe you are close with them, maybe they can charge you cheaper. This one is like the normal uh, POL costing. La. Okay, right. It's just pure co costing, right? Okay, yeah. Right. Right. So, any other question come from the floor? I think we'll open up uh, for this. Uh, we'll wait for some questions to come in. Any question related to uh, Susan's, uh, what do you call that, her presentation? Um, you can ask me question about domain if you have any uh, 
cases face uh, before and you is worrying and suffering you, then you can ask me today. It's a free of charge. Okay. All right. So we have the Anthony asking, uh, so I'm uh, one of the winners. I think the winners will be, for the first quiz is the uh, Aaron. And the second quiz is the uh, Momo So. So <laughs> sorry, you are not one of the winners. Maybe uh, you can follow us next time when we have the webinar. You can join us, then probably you can be one of the winners. Huh? Okay, I will prepare more questions for that. Okay, appreciate that. <laughs> okay, now, um, all right, so if you don't have any other uh, questions, uh, we can actually uh, wrap this up. So just want to give some intake uh, take so far for those people who inside the uh, the web, inside this particular forum. So what we have uh, covered so far is about brand protection. Uh, and the importance of it is you wanted to protect your revenue loss and recapturing some of these uh, what they call tra web traffic so that you can you will not harm your organization brands as a whole. So what we have touched on is digitization of all these new uh, approach towards the internet itself has actually elevated the, the people doing the scamming, uh, phishing, and the likes of this uh, sort of uh, uh, attack which can divert traffic out from your original intent of your original website. So the example was given by uh, Susan was Nike, and that's Nike had taken some drastic measure. Some of those things are like take uh, cease and desist. Others like the, uh, what she mentioned, uh, is obtain the brand TLD, which is allowed Nike to exist as an uh, extension to the domain itself. So that gives the permanent uh, representation of a brand. So, and, and it's all come back to how much the brand worth and to see how we actually move forward. And the strategy here can be a few. And this can be in the terms of uh, putting up uh, monitoring in place to ensure that the brand is being monitored. Uh, we also talk about the how to uh, do web traffic redirection. So that's something is actually very simple and it allow you to convert uh, some of the traffic targeted to the specific website and to be channeled to the official and all put something like what uh, Susan mentioned under construction. Okay, so other things like safeguarding here are the uh, putting in uh, mitigation control uh, so that uh, you can secure the name down by purchasing uh, those variation of the name. And so that this is also uh, protect, give the organization a way to uh, ensure that the SEO, the branding uh, as part and parcel of the, the strategy in when you actually move forward into the domain. So when you come to the domain management, uh, there are a lot of things you can do with it and not forgetting that the entire thing about performing such a brand protection is very critical for businesses, uh, especially businesses online. Now the cost of doing this mitigation can range uh, from a minimum as one USD, uh, 1,000 USD, not one USD, 1,000 USD all the way to 60,000 USD. It's also based on the type of recovery you want to perform on it. So you know, some people will say, you know, instead of uh, doing the uh, doing prevention, it's always better than uh, doing the recovery part. Now, I hope all you guys uh, actually enjoy this session and, uh, and uh, looking forward to you for the next session itself. So and with that, I would like to end this particular uh, presentation. And thank you, uh, Susan, for coming on board uh, to uh, give us an idea of what is this brand protection about. And, uh, and then, uh, yes, yeah, that's correct. And then uh, we can actually, uh, I want to call it, appreciate that those people on the audience who are answering the question from Susan and uh, those people who are answering uh, got the winner. So congratulations to you. Okay, so um, over to you, Ame. Thank you, David okay. and Susan, for taking time out of your busy schedule to share your valuable insight with us. Before we go, kindly fill out the survey that will pop up in front of your screen.
for our further feedback, you may also share your point of view in the form that we've been provided in the chat box. Don't forget about the Amazon gift card worth USD50, which could be yours. For more details, you may visit a packdenesforum.my. Our afternoon session will be the lightning talk one. This session will start at 15 p.m. in UTC plus 8 and UTC. We will see you there. Thank you. Basically, for humans, if we want to access the internet, we basically will have to rely on the DNS. Um, and it feels to me that means that everything we're talking about, the internet related, kind of sits on the DNS in a way. And I'm just reading statista.com. Um, Southeast Asia's internet economy size is valued at like 105 billion in 2020. That was last year is projected to grow three times by 2025 in five years. I think the pandemic had fast forwarded a lot of the digital adoption and digitalization as well. So this number is just like um, estimation. And 